Hi everybody, my name is Eliana and this is Marcelo. He was diagnosed with diabetes a few months ago and it is now part of our daily routine to get him up tested, his blood gets tested, and also the daily insulin shots. So today I'm going to show you what we do to test his blood and also to get him his insulin shots. You can see here there's a bunch of things that I use and this is me personally. You will find out with time what works best for you and your dog. So we're going to get started and I'll show you how we test Marcelo's blood. Um, we use Gentil as a lensing device. Uh, we're very happy with it. I test his blood during the week about four times a day. On, on the weekend when I'm home, about six, seven, sometimes eight times a day. It's um, painless and uh, he doesn't feel anything. We're very, very happy with it. Now, Gentil comes with different contact tips and different colors. The one that worked for us is number six. As you can see here, I use the purple one. And that, of course, uh, will change from person to person and see what works best for their dog. And this is just fine. It's still painless and it works great for us. Okay, now let's talk about the lancets. We use, here I'm going to open it here so you can see, this is the lancet that comes with the Gentile, and that's the type of lancet that you need to use. So now let me show you the monitoring device that we used. It's an alpha track, and this is what we use to check his numbers, and here it is. So the testing strips over here. And I'm going to leave it here ready so that when I check um, his blood, it's there. And the reason I have Vaseline over here is because it's very important when you use the Gentil that you have the appropriate amount of vacuum. And sometimes because dogs have you know, all the hair around here in this area, um, you want to make sure that there is no air coming through. So sometimes what I do, I take a very, just a little bit of Vaseline and I put it over here around the top just to make sure that there is no extra air coming in when I check this blood. Last thing I want to tell you about is Autojax 2, which is something that I use, it's like a clicker I use to make the um, process of giving him his insulin shot a little bit uh, easier. I'm not good with needles or anything like that, so I had to get this little gadget here to help me out uh, and make it easier in the process of giving him his insulin. So what I do, I Take the, um, well, this one doesn't have any insulin in it, but let's just say that it does have the insulin. I take the syringe and I drop it over here. And just apply it to his skin. And when you hear the little click, you see here that the needle has actually popped. It just takes like half a second. He doesn't feel it. He gets a treat right away. It's very, very practical. Um, this is the type of syringe that you need to use for this device. Um, 29 gauge, 12 millimeter syringe. And this is what I use. It's called Autoject 2. It made my life a lot easier.